Welcome to another episode of Gumptious Gizmos, where this is Rick. And Rick is a cartoon character, existing in a two-dimensional world. He understands the concepts of height and width, but not depth. Depth is a three-dimensional construct that we understand and we can comprehend because we live in the 3D world. Well, technically we live in four dimensions because time is the fourth dimension, but we don't need to get into that. Basically, Rick will never understand what depth is. Even if you try to explain it to him, he can never comprehend it because he has never seen it before. In short, his world can have circles, but they can never have spheres. So how can we at least make the illusion that we can take something 2D and make it 3D? Well, this has been done many times before in movies and in some video games, but my real curiosity is, how 3D can we make a movie? Can it ever be so lifelike and realistic that we can't distinguish it between a screen and a window? But before we answer that, first we have to answer how do we see things in 3D, in the world around us? Well, here's an example. Take your index finger and put it right in front of your face. Now close one eye. Now switch to the other eye. And switch back and forth a whole bunch. It should look like your finger is sort of jumping back and forth. And the way that it works is that both your eyes are compositing the world into a two-dimensional image, which both overlap to create a 3D image because they're taken from two slightly different perspectives. So the problem for a 3D movie is how do you get both eyes to see two different perspectives from one flat screen? Well, let's rewind back to the 70s when you had these really cheesy cardboard blue and uh, red glasses. How does that work? Well, essentially, they would film an object with two cameras side by side, kind of like how your eyes see things, and then project both those images onto a screen with two different filters. One would be filtered red, and the other one would be filtered cyan, or blue. And then these fancy glasses with their fancy lenses could filter out the colors. The red lens could not see anything projected in red, and the blue lens could not see anything projected in blue. So each eye would see a different perspective, giving the illusion of three dimensions. But there was a problem with this technique. The colors were off. Everything looked bluish and reddish. The resolution wasn't that great. It just seemed weird. So we discovered a way that you could watch 3D without having to mess with the colors at all. And if you go to the movie theaters and watch an IMAX 3D movie now, what you were given instead of these are these blackened sort of sunglasses looking thing that you wear on your face. And how they work is actually pretty interesting. It's called linear polarization. Now, now don't click away yet, quite yet, all right? It sounds boring, it sounds nerdy, but trust me, it's incredibly boring. Basically, light acts as a wave. And through the powers of electromagnetism, we can control how this wave acts. We can make it act vertical, or we can make it act horizontal for the purposes of a 3D movie. So when they make these new 3D movies, just like before, they have two cameras that film the same object from different perspectives and project both those images onto a screen, except instead of doing so in different filters with different colors, they have different types of light, one that's vertical and one that's horizontal. And the way that the glasses filter out those images, instead of these janky blue and red lenses, is they have what I can best describe as one lens has like a picket fence, and the other one has a sideways picket fence that only allows a certain type of light. So one projected image has the polarized light that's going vertical and can go through the right lens, but not the left one, and vice versa for the horizontal light can go through the left lens, but not through the right one. And that's really cool, but it requires that you wear glasses. I mean, what are we, a bunch of nerds? Who wears glasses nowadays? Is there a way that you can see 3D without having to wear glasses? There are a few ways, and I'm going to show you a few on your screen right now. One of the most popular ways you can see 3D without glasses is through a magic eye picture, which looks just like this patterned wallpaper, but if you cross your eyes and focus on the image enough, you can see an object that appears to be popping out of the screen. Want a hint on what's in this picture? <laughs> well, I couldn't tell you because I'm horrible at this, but let's take this a step further. Instead of just an image, 
let's make it to a movie, a moving picture. So I want you to cross your eyes so that there's a dot. These two dots sort of come together in the middle, all right? Now watch this. If you did it right, what you should be seeing is a 3D clip from a music video playing on your screen. If not, you just see a whole bunch of random static, but that's fine, because I have another way that you can see 3D without the use of glasses that I came up with. To do this, you have to put your left hand over your left eye, and you're about to hear a series of ticks like in a metronome, and with each tick, I want you to switch which hand is over which eye, and it's going to go pretty fast. Alright? And start. Did it work? Well, for me it sort of worked, sort of didn't. The concept behind it is that with each tick, with each time you would change which eye is seeing the image, the perspective on the image would change a little bit, hopefully giving the illusion of 3D, but I mean, I don't really expect anyone to be sitting in a movie theater doing this whole bunch or having their eyes crossed for two hours. So is there a way that you can see 3D without glasses that is practical? There is, and it was done six years ago, I believe it was, with the Nintendo 3DS, a handheld game system that, when viewed from the right angle, made the image look 3D. Now, the ways that we've talked about 3D being projected in movies have been both the right and the left perspective were sort of meshed together. But the way that the 3DS does it is that the screen has two lines of pixels where the right eye and the left eye and the right eye and the left eye have different images that they see. And how they make it look 3D is through what I can best describe as a mesh that's sort of right above the screen. So if you are in a sweet spot when it's about a foot away from your face, your left eye sees the, the pixels intended for the left eye to see and your right sees the ones intended for the right eye to see. And it works really well only if you're at that exact location. But 3D to me, I envision being able to look around it, to look through a window, to really be engaged and immersed. And so then I thought, chalk drawings. Have you ever seen those drawings where it looks like there's a monster or a crazy scene right in the middle of a city street? There's no After Effects done here. Essentially what the artist did is he drew these chalk images that from the perspective of the camera looks like it's right there. But from anyone else walking by on the street, it looked really warped and a strange image they probably couldn't even make out. So I thought, what if there was a screen that had a camera that would see where your eyes are, or maybe if you were wearing glasses, could track where the glasses were in relation to the screen, and could change and warp that image, so from your perspective, it looked 3D. And I'm proud to say it does exist. I did some digging, and head tracking VR does exist. You don't need any glasses for it. Programs that you can see things coming out of your TV, like a window going in, and it looks really cool. In fact, you can try it right now with a free app on your phone I found. I forget the name of the app, but it'll be on screen so you can download it. I suggest you do, and it works better if you have one eye closed, because both eyes open will see it just as a flat screen. And you're probably wondering it right now if there's a way that you can like this video somehow comment with other people on how much you liked it, or be notified of more videos in the future. Well, I'm sad to say you can't, 